All right, let's do it. Also, also once more, I uh, want to give a huge shout out to Charlie for joining us tonight for commentary. Thank you so much for having me, man. It's been a pleasure. And it's going to be even more of a pleasure after this match or during this match. Let's get right into it. Oh, okay. Oh, he waited for the tech place there. Oh. Just the light Tatsu in order to uh, be able to immediately press uh, buttons on shield after he crosses up. Okay. Pull off smash. I'm yep, just going to mine, mine this business. Tried to catch landing with the forward smash, a little bit too slow. Throw out that grab in order, uh, in case Mao tried to dash in. Yeah. The one thing I am liking a little bit about Mao here, he's being a little bit more aggressive on Steve as much as possible because he doesn't want to give Steve the time of the day to mine the materials and go for things uh -huh. like Kart as well. Sorry, Enderman. Yes, yes. Ooh, tried to get, uh, get the anti with that Shoryu, but didn't dash quite far enough in order to do it. Okay, gonna build, <laughs> gonna build that wall to keep himself from getting getting mined or from getting pressured while mining. Now of course gonna jump right over it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, get that material, Jay. Ooh, <laughs> caught him with a minecart. Didn't oh. get the combo off. Try to catch him dashing in with the forward smash, but Mao was ready with the shield up. Alright Mao. Yeah. Excellent home on shield. Oh, but unfortunately on the shield drop there, there is Jake with the cross up in the back air and enough knockback from Diamond. Pickaxe, sure you there to I love Mao's patience there, waiting out a defensive option from Jake. Recognized it was coming, ran up, and just stuffed him out of his approach with the short you can. That's kind of the name of the game with these two. I've seen a lot of Jake. He'll uh, check you out of your dash with the forward smash. And then yeah. Mao right here checked him out of his dash or his walk with the uh, with the short you twice in a row, actually. Forward air. Ooh, nice. A what a follow-up into the air. Crap. Excellent stuff coming out from Jake. Okay. This is big. Oh, jab. nice, 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 nice. Tried to read the air dodge there. And that was a good, that was a good patience there too, because if he went a little bit too far ahead, he would have got to punch out the shield. So good stuff to amount to understanding his reactions against Jake. Got a pump and forward smash there. Mm. Tried to read the air dodge again. Didn't dash quite as far as he needed to to get the to, to get the shore you off. Yep, you mash too late, and you're gonna get spiked. Oof, Jake. Gonna get the uh, getting the stock there. Wow. Okay. Was ready for the tech in place with the dash attack. Very good coverage from him. Tried to catch Lin with the up tilt, but didn't quite time it right, allowing Mao to land on top of him um, and get the reversal off. But now Mao in the corner once again. Okay. Then drill through space in order to get some materials. Order to up smash, stuffing him out of the uh, the focus there. Oh. Yep. Caught him out of his dash. Nice stuff coming out from Jake, playing that first game very solidly. Jake is on a tear, man. He is not showing any signs of slowing down. Not at all. That was a very uh, impressive showing for game one. Let's see how Mao is going to adjust his play style a little bit to uh, accommodate for the way he's getting checked out of his dashes a lot up close. That's kind of the main thing. Yeah. Um, and it and happens it, to a lot of players, too, because usually you're trying to dash dance to, to kind of beat your reaction against your opponent, right? Seeing how they are, mix up your timing, see if you can get something like a whiff punish there. But you have to always remember, too, as well, there is a few frames when you're turning around animation and you can be punished for that. Yep, yep, yep. All right, getting into game two right now. Yep. <laughs> On uh, Suzaku Castle. All right, Mal. Yep. Okay, was able to catch him out of jumping out of the minecart. Wasn't able to get a follow up afterwards. Up till up till up smash. I like the patience from Jake. Not trying to extend his uh, not trying to extend his juggle past that. Just goes for the damage and then uh, mine some material. Needs as many materials as he can. Looking for that gold. Looking for that diamond. Gold for the gold for the uh, minecart, the fast minecart, and diamond for the very strong uh, aerials. Wow, We're able to get forward air into landing uh, landing there there. Yeah. Spike. So like a very oh character. no. Yeah. I love how he maneuvered around. What? That jab locked him. Did you see the way he, like, Yeah, on the yeah, ground? yeah. That was that very so interesting. <laughs> yep, yeah. right under the Hadouken. Punished it with the minecart. Really good stuff from Jake. Yeah, there's, a little, there's a few recovery frames on Hadouken. Yeah, like I said, you can go right under and then just punish your opponent. They're now playing very patient, expecting the minecart. Oh, oh I the love double jump? That. Yeah, what a play. That was such a good bait. Nice. I think we're going to have to see more from that on now. Definitely try to bait out Jade a little bit more. 
Mm -hmm. He needs to bait out those defensive options because in a lot of cases, it's all Steve can really do. He's not the most mobile character, so all he really has are his spot dodges, rolls, and and, and grounded moves. Exactly. Spot dodges, rolls, and normals the character. Mix up on and your you opponents. Know, it's my <sighs> Unfortunately, I feel like Mal kind of put himself in that this situation to go all the way to a disadvantage, and then got hit. But look at this play from Jake here, fifty percent so on Mal. <laughs> I want to play Steve now. <laughs> Just because he looks fun. This is yeah. This is definitely a very silly character. Yeah, it's it's, it's looking like a lot of fun whether you're winning or losing. Okay, I love the parry. You get the punish. Excellent timing from Jake. Okay, try to mix him up with the spot dodge into F smash up close. Mm, that was missed the DI on the mine cart. Was trying to get away. Yeah, that was a worthy attempt to you because he wanted to get out of the corner and then try to take back some stage. But unfortunately, like you are still vulnerable to getting hit in Tatsu. Okay, the down throw dash tag coming out from uh, from Jake. Ooh, got stuffed out by the second part of the minecart. Tried to get the punish, but was a little bit too slow. Got stuffed out by the jab. He's trying to take it a little bit slower. Oh no! That a lot of his punishes aren't getting aren't going through. Like he's he's missing a lot of his punishes by just a few hairs, and then because of that, Jake is getting uh, Jake is uh. Jake is getting good reversals for it. And it's not like he's getting Jake's getting lucky either. Jake is purposely positioning himself in a spot where it's very difficult to punish him. Mm -hmm. And where it looks like you can, but it's a little bit risky. So what ends up happening is he positions himself well, gets the spot dodge, gets the roll, gets the immediate button, and stuffs you out of your punish attempt. Right. Very good positioning coming out from Jake, yeah. Look, okay, Mal looking for a way to back center stage. I kind of question that roll a little bit. You got to be careful on those. Nonetheless, though, he's able to poke through, but unfortunately, Jake at the same I believe time that broke if i'm not mistaken i believe that broke the focus uh the focus because the focus has a percent threshold i believe it's like 18 maybe 16 and yeah, yeah, yeah. uh that bear does a ton of damage so i <laughs> the, the, at least i know as it goes on the threshold like uh increases but i think at the very start of it it's around 16. yeah um, you're, if anyone you are chat, correct if anyone in chat can confirm that for me because i i do fight this character a lot and i know and i know i know wolf's back here which was 18.9 damage for some reason um <laughs> breaks the, the startup of his focus if i tip it enderman wins <laughs> so cute <laughs> look his, at him his, like eyes his voice short. too he's like skinny <laughs> <laughs> all right up to all right now is jake very uh very comfortable position in this first set got stuffed out of his uh stuffed out of his jump there by the forward air but mal's gonna talk to off stage put himself in the ledge but jake not really gonna capitalize off it opting to mine instead which is in in and of itself a capitalization there um with steve we do have to uh, find ways to mine materials safely. So sometimes you have to give up a little bit of early, early on ledge pressure in order to get your materials and set up for the big plays later on. Yeah, Quill, really quick, try to finish off your previous thought here on the amount of percentage you get from what is it? Um, focus attack. It's sixteen point eight percent on the first stage, mm -hmm. and then it goes into second stage, which makes it at thirty three point six percent. And then Got finally, it. the third stage is unblockable. Got it. So you have to hit the very startup. If you want to beat his his, if you want to beat his focus, you got to hit him with a move that does more than 16.8, you said, at the very yeah. start of it. Afterwards, it has to be 33, which no aerial is really going to do that. So, of course, unless you have a multi-hit, obviously. But a single hit can win if it's over 16.8 at the very startup of the thoughts, of, of the focus. Got yeah. it. It's got three stages, too. So the third stage is unblockable. At that point, man, you just get away. <laughs> yeah, at that point. Or you multi-hit <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you multi-hit him or you get away. Oh, no. No call out there for Mal. Yeah, he he had the red idea. He tried to intercept the uh, minecart with the ta with the, not Tatsu, with the Shoryu. Mistimed it, however. All right, going to jump right over that grab and get the punish with the bear. Not a bad position to put himself in. Pretty much even game so far. Okay, just going to watch him mine some materials really quick. Some popcorn out. Ooh, it isn't able to get the uh, down tilt conversion off the Tatsu. Jake was a little bit too high off the ground there after the, the Tatsu. The tripping animation. I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> All right. Okay, try to catch the neutral get up with a forward smash. Um, Kind of gave up halfway through. Tried again. Okay. 
Nice. I like the immediate oh. ledge jump mine card. That's a very strong option. He mine cards yeah. right on the ground after ledge jumping there, and he keeps his jump when he does it. Oh, that he was a missing point. Yeah, yeah, that was a yeah. missing point. We want to show you. Mm. Oh. He extended yep. his hurt box. He absolutely no Fs given. <laughs> yeah. Forward smash recognizes that's really difficult to punish if he's not if, if punishable at all. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it point stands. Draws out another one and was able to stuff him out of his F smash attempt. Disjoint versus lag. The disjoint's gonna win. Oh, good for good for him to go Hadouken to stop the minecart and then look for the landing on Jake. Unfortunately, not a strong punish, but he's got the stage here to himself. Gets the back throw instead of the fourth throw. I thought this man was looking nice. for an edge guard change. Minecart. All right, Mal looking to get in center. Good Hadouken. I think that's what he's slowly looking to implement here. Kind of stop the movement that you would see Jake get from minecart and then make a play afterwards. Careful, yeah, that time, so that time, Mao, instead of dashing up to the forward smash, just opted to jump and maybe bait another forward smash and try to punish that. But Jake, of course, aware of that, he's like, he saw me double F smash oh, the first no. time. Oh, no way. Okay, okay, oh, he's shit. able to recover. <laughs> I thought those blocks had him. And then good on Jake oh. to put the TNT towards the ledge because Shoryu has, is actually a fire hitbox and he can set off the TNT. And that'll be very difficult. Ooh, the up smash of the platform! Not gonna take it, though. Very, very close. Yeah. <laughs> that was risky. That was risky. He, dude, he he baited the hell out of him by getting off the minecart early. Really good rolls coming out from Jake as well. Very well timed. Mm, I said, wait, I thought, oh. The invincibility, the invincibility. Buried, yeah, I thought he bared him, but my goodness. Very, very close nail biter. Uh, uh, last game from of that set from Jake. Jake's going to take that first. Oh, no, Charlie. Yeah, this is reset, guys. Ready? Oh no, I think Charlie disconnected. Yeah, Charlie's dead. We'll wait for him to come back. We'll see, we'll see. Steve killed Charlie. I hope not. <laughs> we'll see for the meantime. Hopefully Charlie will come back. I know you probably just gonna... Oh, his internet cut out. Oh no. Charlie's internet has cut out. All right, we'll wait for him to come back. Well, so far though, Mal looking to try to get his way back here on the Jake. I think at this point, Mal is definitely taking a lot here going into Grand Finals too. Uh, it was Jake with the loser side here and he pretty much got the reset. So now it's on Mal. All right, double jump here. I, I'm kind of questionable here on the double jump. Just you want to be able to use that to kind of empty hop or particularly just try to look for a mix up on the double jump. Oh, sick, good, good job saving the jump though. He doesn't want to get hit by the mine cart because like we said, it's registered as a command grab. So it'll definitely take you off stage into a situation where Jake would like to be favored here and go for something like a forward air and spike you. Saves the jump here to come back on the platform. Mao is looking for a way to get in. Here's the punish after the hit here for holding shield. What a great opportunity. Smash on the center platform, and Mal saving that jump on the landing. Good play here. That's the thing about here for Mal. He's got to watch his landings because if he's not careful, Jake will punish him. So, all right, good cancel. Going back towards the ledge, saving the jump to get over the minecart. I think that's what Mal is definitely looking for. It's place to kind of counteract the minecart. This is a good down tilt immediately to the crescent kick, and he kind of gets a little bit of stage. But I do like the fact that he respects him at the ledge. He's kind of respecting minecart more so this often now. Oh no, the, yeah, the Shoryu is going to go through the platform. Sorry, through the shield, and unfortunately that will be punished. Jake with down throw forward smash, yeah, big damage there. 
Sure are you? Nope, not enough for the threshold. There is a big blast on here on Town City, but he didn't meet him all the way back on the landing. What a play from Mao. Looking to punish the landings as well. All right, Jake, continue looking for some more materials. And that's the thing about Steve, though. Even if he does to have diamond materials, he always wants materials in general. So when the weapons do break or he wants to go for edge guard options, he can build all the blocks to stop his opponents from recovering. And what a play. Immediately sensing how Mal is going to be aggressive on that side. Spot dodge, forward smash. I think that's what Mal has to account for there. Looking for the corner carry here, but not on the second Tatsu, unfortunately. All right, a couple of options here. This leads to big damage. Kara canceled to show you. What a play, too. Because I would have covered Jake on him going off the minecart. All right, Mal saves the jump here. Doesn't want to go at the ledge. So he goes for the Shoryu call out just because he knows Jake is going to go for the minecart. And that would have been a great play, but a little too early on the execution. And unfortunately, the Hadouken will be hit by the minecart. Good call from Jake. And the Anvil will stop the recovery. But unfortunately, he's going to get pineapple. And Jake will take game one of this reset. And then, of course, for those of you guys wondering, uh, Charlie is having some internet issues. His internet cut out, unfortunately. Coincidentally, there has been some internet cutting off here in SoCal a lot lately. So that's been the issue we've been having today in SoCal overall in general. So that's why we're not hearing Charlie at this very moment. Uh, earlier today, we did have some internet issues. All right, well, Jake won. First point on the board here of this Grand Finals reset. Alright, game two here. Jake with the first point on the board. I think he's kind of got a handle with Mal here, just particularly understanding how Mal plays. But Mal is slowly looking to catch up to Jake. He's been understanding how things go. I think for Mal, he's going to be have to be careful with minecart in general. There's been a lot of times where he'll go for Hadouken, and then Jake will call it out with the minecart. And because minecart's ridiculously fast like so, he catches him right before the Hadouken even starts, or even after, because there is some land lag after the Hadouken. Keep in mind, a lot of projectiles, even though they're ridiculously... Most of them are pretty good. There are There is some end lag. I do see Charlie coming in right now, so hopefully he has reconnected. I'll get to hear his lovely voice. And opinions. I think we're back. I think we're good. Yeah, I, we're, we're good. good. Let's we're fucking good. go. Let's go. It's, it's, it's go. returned. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody I'm in the back. chat. We're back. Refresh. Oh my goodness. Charlie is back in action. Bad luck. Bad luck. <laughs> Just some bad luck. We are back, however. Sorry about that. All good, man. Lady. It happens. Uh, Spectrum has not been kind to us all today. Spectrum is awful. Anyway, uh, so sorry about that, guys. I have returned. So Jake is now up 1-0 in the reset. Playing incredibly well, and I can only guess because I missed the last game because Spectrum throttled my connection. 95 bucks a month, by the way. Only provider in my area, by the way. Same anyway, my... back to the match. <laughs> <laughs> provider of many areas here in SoCal, unfortunately, but... Sad. <sighs> I had the roll read there. A little bit too slow with the F smash. I would have expected a turn around up smash to be quicker. But, of course, a little bit more difficult to input. Did have the read, however. Okay, Jake has to play very cautious around Ken. Okay. Now, also watching his landings. Doesn't want to get caught by the minecart or a dash attack or a grab. As he gets his shield called out by the uh, range grab by Jake. Try to down smash the neutral get up. A little bit too slow. That minecart is going to power through the Tatsu. Take that stock from Mal. And that's the thing, too, about Ken's. A lot of his specials, they're very committal, too. After he goes for sure you, you have to worry about you can catch him off his landing. Tatsu, mm -hmm. you can catch her, capture in the middle of the animation. Hadouken has some ridiculous... Not once it's ridiculous, but it's got some end life that you can punish him for. Hadouken is literally made to where if you read it, you jump over and punish it. That's, like, the Ex point exactly. of the move. Like, that's the, the original fireball, you know? Um, but what's... what's uh, 
What's funny about Ken's uh, Shoryu is that it's oddly committal and also oddly not committal at the same time. Because on the ground, it doesn't have much lag. It's the fact that you have a lot of time to react to him lane yeah. afterwards. Plus, it's pretty pretty high reward sometimes. But it is definitely a commitment you have to watch for, for sure. Ooh, exactly. Caught him in the minecart again. Didn't get the spike that he wanted. Okay, There's I like the, the way he hugs the, the stage. Goes under it to avoid the anvil. A little bit too slow to catch the laning with bear. Mao has the pressure in the corner now. Free punish. Goes for the grab. Back throw. Oh, he's trying to throw him on the platform. Interesting. Maybe he wants a tech chase on him. Okay. All right, well, mao has got 81, 81, I'm sorry, on Jake. Pretty much the percent where a character, if they DI poorly, they won't get hit by the Shoryu. Uh oh, Prox jab Shoryu. Mm. Not going to take the stock. Really good DI coming out from Jake. Yeah, a mix of good DI and, of course, the big blast zones that is town and city. Of course, mm -hmm. supplemented with good DI, of course. If you have bad mm -hmm. DI, you will die. Yep, yep, yep. Good mind card. Oh, oh, that's oh. it. That's what? it. What? This man was robbed. This man was what? robbed. Not, I, that was amazing. That was amazing. The mind card smack, spike, up smash. That was nuts. <laughs> Incredible from Jake. Pulled that right when he needed it. Almost like... <laughs> <laughs> that was his trump card, man. <laughs> My goodness, dude. Naruto has his Rasengan, Goku has his Kaioken, and Jake has his minecart <laughs> for their spike off smash. Out of actually nowhere. I blinked. It was like an RKO. <laughs> I feel terrible because I always tell people I was more of a fan of the Chidori than the Rasengan. Chidori! I thought it was the coolest move ever. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty damn cool. It was, I mean, Kakashi invented the force. It was cool. Coolest character in the show. Coolest, coolest move in the game. Coolest move in the show. Hey, right, back to the match. We got Jake on on, on the heels of a. Is it five zero or did did uh, Mal win a game? No, he, uh, Mal has not gone. <laughs> He hasn't put a point on the board, man. He's been working on My it. Goodness. He's he's been slowly adapting, but I'm telling you, right. he's. Jake no, some of these game. games, he's playing it well. Like that last game, he was playing it incredibly well. Putting up put very good corner pressure, dealing with like the burst options very well, positioning himself in a very safe manner. Ooh. My goodness, got the dare okay. there. Not a super strong spike at that percent, however. But man, just actually out of nowhere, Jake was able to, to steal that game by the skin of his teeth. And right now, he's in an excellent position. That 1-1 one, one would have been huge for Mal, but now it's a lot scarier. Yeah, pretty much Jake at step one here. Mal has to climb up through the depths of his reset. Yeah. That's a back throw from position here. Can he read the reaction here? I like the play here. He stands a little bit still, looking to see how Jake is going to land and try to punish him accordingly. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yep, caught the landing with the forward smash. Jake just 100% scouted it, knew it was coming. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh! <laughs> look at look at him. Look at the way he's, like, moving his head. <laughs> I have never seen that, actually. I didn't know, so a lot of the time they do that into the the two kicks. Yeah. Uh, they'll do like proxy jab two kicks, and it'll it'll do a lot of damage to your shield. But that time he just did uh he just used the focus to finish off the shield, something I've never really seen before. Of course, not a true shield break, but it's a damn good mix up for someone who who is scared in the shield against Ken. Yep. Caught the landing. Uh, caught the air dodge landing with the forward smash there. Uh, now really needed that shield break, not only for the stock, but like it's very good momentum. Like, it's not only does he have a huge amount of decline, not only does he have to win three games in a row, but it's off the heels of an already 5-0 uh, streak from Jake, so the mental damage is already there. But oh. Mal, with how consistent he's playing, he hasn't really, oh, got his jump caught there. <sighs> he's getting outplayed in spots like that, but it's not like yeah. he's rushing in at him in bad spots. He is still timing his approaches very well. It's just Jake is, is just one step ahead almost every time. Yeah. He's been really good on cal calling out Mel for aerials, fireballs, you name it. Oh no, okay. He's well, he, got, he got hit and then caught by it later. I'd be tilted. <laughs> nice landing catch with the Shoryu to whip punish the back air, but it didn't quite take the stock. Steve and I do like that second board. Shoryu tap because he was going for the right opportunity to call out Jake before he lands the platform. So this is looking like Jake's game. Caught the landing with the, with the up smash. Not quite gonna take the stock, however. Mao is in a very dire spot indeed. Tried to go over the Tatsu. I love the parry. I don't know how he parries that so consistently. That is like some t a testament to some active experience. Ooh. He had that. He did, yeah. He had that. He's and he's been trying to call out Jake on those, on those for quite a while, but he hasn't had much success. He's really scared to let. Yeah. 
Yep, good games. That was an excellent showing from Jake with this 6 0 oh, in grand. The main thing was that he was checking him out of his dashes a lot and he was doing an excellent job of catching his landings. Um, Mao, to his credit, was positioning himself very well around the minecart, but a lot of the time Jake was just a few steps ahead of him in, in um, a lot of the instances where he was landing. A lot of the instances where he was trying to dodge the minecart, Jake was ready for the mix-up that Mao had. The mix-ups that Mao had 